demonstration of two different fabrics that have um, metal fibers running through them. And the reason for that is uh, these metal fibers help to uh, attenuate electromagnetic waves or radio frequency or even x-rays uh, going through them. And the reason is that some people consider this excessive radio frequency to be radio frequency pollution. Uh, radio waves uh, from cell phones, Wi-Fi, and everything else. The other thing is that this also attenuates x-rays and soft x-rays of the type that are used in new body scanners that the Department of Homeland Security is uh, installing at the various airports. I have a um, civil defense, old civil defense um, x-ray, actually it's Geiger counter. Uh, I rebuilt it and it works on the 100th scale. I have a uh, loudspeaker a speaker attached to it. I'm also going to open up the probe. Hold it down a little bit. I have a um, cesium-137 source that um, is available from certain uh, radiological suppliers. It's a flight micro series of cesium-137. And you see it's pretty hot. I have these two fibers. This fiber here is has stainless steel shielding, uh, stainless steel fibers, and it also shows you the attenuation of the frequencies and how many decibels. This other fiber is uh, copper color because it actually contains copper fiber in it. And again, um, at DEF CON, when I demonstrate this at DEF CON, I'm going to have these both of these fabrics stand. People can feel how uh, they uh, can feel against the skin. Okay, I'm going to do the stainless steel for, uh, first. So I'm going to put my fine microcurry source underneath it. Put this on top. Put the probe over it. So let me just find it here. So that's that's with the fiber on top of it. And again, this is stainless steel fiber. Now, if I take that off and put the probe directly on top of it. So you can see there's quite a bit of attenuation. There's not only attenuation, but there's also reflection. The x-rays are actually uh, getting reflected back. Let me put it again. So again, there's quite a bit of fall off in the x-rays. And again, without... Actually, the probe's starting to get saturated over here. Okay, let's try it again with uh, the copper. Again. Now the copper fabric. And again, you see there's some level of, or quite a bit of level of attenuation. And again, this will reflect x-rays. It will reflect x-rays more brightly than um, then the skin, it will reflect x-rays more along lines of the type of metal. Again, without the copper. And with the copper fabric. Again, people wear clothes made out of these fa fabrics, not because they try to, um, to, um, um, not for security reason of, uh, of the feeding the body scan, it's because the high electromagnetic radiation fields that we're in today with all the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth and everything else and this keeps the excess radiation EMF away from their bodies. In the beginning there was only one electromagnetic wave that we did have that occurred naturally and that was the shaman resonance which is about 7.8 hertz and that's a natural phenomena. And um, shaman resonance also, coincidentally, is also the alpha wave frequency too of our brain. Our brain is about eight hertz alpha waves, and people have always tried to build some type of a um, uh, some type of theory about that, but nobody's been that successful yet. And again, I'll, I'll be doing this at DEFCON 18, and I'll probably be doing it at Hope. Hope is Hackers on Planet Earth. It's a conference in New York. It's um, July 16th at the Pennsylvania. And DEF CON 18 will be at Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, uh, probably at the Riviera. 
and just do a Google search and you'll find all the information you need.